Hello everybody, making a real quick video. I went and picked some roses today. Cause I got like some roses like in my front yard. And I got a bottle of purified water. A stainless steel pot. So I'm gonna make my baby sister a bottle of rose water. And so I still got to kind of like finish picking these and putting them in the pot. And so, your real simple method. And I got the, the pot on like low, not too high. Because you want it to be able to like burn. Not burn, but cook like nice and slow and you want it really 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 like nice and strong like a lot of roses a lot of rose petals let me see like I got like over here a couple of more to do so this is gonna come out really good She's gonna love this. And it's good for the skin. It's good like when you out and you wanna keep your face hydrated, you can put it like in the spray bottle and like spray your face. Or like, if you want to like clean your face, you, you, well, you will wash your face first. And then after you wash your face, before you put any like concealer, like before you would do makeup, you will wipe your face down. So you can, um... You know, add some like moisture to it. It's like a moisture barrier. And you know, roses, the petals are like satin. Have like a satin texture. So you know like when you rub it on your face, you have like that smooth feel. It's like it replenishes the cells in your face. It's real good. I use rose water all the time. I use it all over my body. And I usually buy it, but I think it's better when you make it homemade because you can add as many rose petals. See what I'm doing is like I'm picking it off of the stem because I don't want the buds. You know how you got those buds in the inside of it? You get, well, you have these buds. I'm sorry, my hand is like in the way. But you kind of like have these buds that are in the inside of it. Like, right here and you don't want to put that in the rose water so you got to kind of like pick it off of the stem you see i'm picking it off the stem and you put it in the water with distilled or purified water it doesn't matter and you put it on Put it on very, very low. See, I only got like a little bit left. I only got like a little bit left. So you put it on very, very low water temperature. And you just let it boil down. 
And then probably with like what I would do next. Nah, I probably couldn't even use it, but yeah, you can use it as to make rose water or potpourri, but I like rose water. If I want some potpourri, I'll probably just use like the oils. Like I got like some scented oils that I order from like eBay and you would like put that in like the candle warmer. Everybody know what the candle warmer is. You know, you not the candle warmer, the um, oil warmer where you put the oil at the top and the candles go at the bottom. See, like the pot is getting hot now. It's getting like nice and warm. You don't want to boil the water. You want it to like heat up nice and slow. So you heat up nice and slow. This is what my sister gave her like the first batch. She likes rose water. And um, yeah, like I'm sorry about the camera. I got the camera like all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is like me, you know giving a brief demonstration of rose how to make rose water real simple and uh, and I'm doing it with love because today was a beautiful day I was in I drove down to the city of Philly what's today the 14th I think Wednesday the 14th of May so I was talking on the phone with my sister because she gets up early in the morning and starts working. And I get up with in the morning and chop it up with her. So I was just like, you know, let me go to the store, pick up a couple of things. So it was like really nice. So I drove into the city of Philadelphia and sat by the Schuylkill River and looked at the water because I like sitting over there by the Schuylkill River. Schuylkill river and took a beautiful picture of the reflection of the trees where the trees meet the river because the water was like really 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 still so i like taking a picture when it's still like that because you don't know which is land and which is the sky because the water reflects both above and below so I caught a real nice picture of that a very nice picture and um, some of these roses is gonna have like some stuff on it I don't want anything in the water, but I don't know. I guess I can like scoop it out some kind of way. And so, yeah. Um, I got like a couple of pieces of rose. Of rose water. I mean, of roses. The reason why I picked these roses is because, like, last week, what was last week, like, around March 8th and 9th, it was, like, warm. And then we got, like, this cold front that came in. So, when you got roses that are, like, growing in these, like, warm weather, and so they started blooming when the weather got warm. But then the cold front came in as they were blooming. So once it gets cold, it'll like stop the bloom and the roses won't mature like they're supposed to mature. So I kind of like picked the little ones 
the ones that look like they're still like in the budding stage like right here before they bloom like that that one is not going to open up because when that cold front came in it kind of like messed up the blooming stage see look i picked up all the flowers and i got like a nice full pot a rose water and when i'm finished i'm gonna put it right back in here so what i'm doing now is i'm gonna get a clean spoon very clean i got wooden spoons like right here like a clean clean wooden spoon Stir that. Stir that. Until like it starts like going through its melting stage. And if the color comes in a little bit. stirring it and you can smell it it smells so good and it's so funny i got like these oils that you can put in like soap because i make my own um like soaps and shampoos and stuff and i got like these oils and i got um a caramel the caramel smells so freaking good and a vanilla and a coconut oil one and i'm gonna like put a little bit of those just like a drop not too much because i don't want to um put too much oils and stuff Smells like flowers. It smells the. You see how it's boiling down? Yeah, so this is rose water. Making some rose water for my sister. And I got it on super low so that way it can boil nice and right. You see how the color is slowly leaving the rose petals. That is all of those nutrients running itself off of the leaves into the water. I can't boil it too much. You only like boil it low for a while, then you let it sit. Mm, it smells good too. It smells like roses. Like you can smell it more because I guess the the water boiling into the flowers and the steam coming up it smells like you can smell more of it than when it was sitting on the um bush so yeah this is how you make rose water so i'm gonna let this boil down and when it's finished i will come back and do like a small video of what it will look like and stuff.